Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a grammar lesson. The subject is the verb to be, the form. The verb to be is irregular. Therefore, the form is different to all other verbs. To be is used a lot in English. It is very important to learn the form. So today's lesson plan, this is what the lesson contains. The present form, the affirmative, negative and question form. And also, very important, the past form. Also, the affirmative, negative and question form. And at the end of the lesson, there are some exercises to test your understanding. And I will discuss the use and meaning of the verb to be in a separate video. So let's look at the affirmative, present tense. I am tired. So here is the verb to be, I am. I am tired. You are tired. He, she or it is tired. We are tired. You are tired. They are tired. So here we can see it in the full form. So the form is subject and this is the verb to be in the present simple form and then afterwards you have the rest of the sentence. And here we have an adjective, tired. So the verb to be is here. I am, you are, he, she, it, is, we are, you are, they are. Let's look at the contracted form of the affirmative. So here is the full form. We have already seen this. So the contracted form is I'm apostrophe M. You're tired. He's tired. She's tired. It's tired. We're tired. You're tired. They're tired. So we use the contracted form often in spoken English. So when we're speaking. Um, and this is how we write it. So if we're writing some dialogue, we will write it like this. And the apostrophe represents the missing letters. So here we are missing the letter A. So we represent it with the apostrophe. Okay. The negative form. I am not tired. So this is the verb to be in the negative. I am not tired. You are not tired. He, she, it is not tired. We are not tired. You are not tired. And they are not tired. So this is quite easy. We have the subject. We have the verb to be. And then we simply add the word not. So this is what makes it negative. And then we have the rest of the sentence. And this is an adjective, tired. Let's look at the contracted form of the negative. So this is the full form of the negative. So the contracted, we have I'm not tired, you're not tired, he's not tired, she's not tired, it's not tired, we're not tired, you're not tired, and they're not tired. Okay, so again we add the word not after the contracted form of the verb to be. 
Now, for some of them, we have a choice. We have two methods for the contracted form in the negative. For I'm, we only have this one. I'm not tired. This is the only choice. But for all the others, we have a different choice. We can say, you aren't tired. He isn't tired. She isn't tired. It isn't tired. We aren't tired, you aren't tired, and they aren't tired. So you can see with this choice, um, the contracted form is between the words, uh, be is between the verb to be and not. So the apostrophe here is representing the missing letter O, aren't. Okay, so we have two choices. Question form. Are you tired? So this is the verb to be in the question form. Notice when we pronounce it, we raise the voice at the end to show that it is a question. Are you tired? Am I tired? Are you tired? Is he, she, or it tired? Are we tired? Are you tired? Are they tired? So the form here is the verb to be is first. And then we have the subject. And then we have the rest of the sentence and very important when we're writing it we must have this question mark here at the end of the sentence at the end of the question so the form is that we change the order the subject comes here in second position and the verb to be is in the first position okay now let's look at the past simple tense of the verb to be. Affirmative form. I was tired. You were tired. He was tired. She was tired. It was tired. We were tired. And you were tired. And they were tired. Okay? So this is the past simple tense affirmative the question form again we change the order so we reverse the order between the subject and the verb to be was i tired were you tired was he tired was she tired was it tired were we tired were you tired were they tired? And again, we raise the voice at the end of the sentence to show that it is a question. Were they tired? The past simple tense. This is the negative form. So the affirmative form we have already seen. Let's now convert this into the negative form. I was not tired. You were not tired. He was not tired. She was not tired. It was not tired. We were not tired. You were not tired. They were not tired. So again, it's quite easy. We add the word not after the verb to be in the past simple tense. And the negative can also have a contracted form. And there is only one contracted form for the past simple tense. I wasn't tired. You weren't tired. He wasn't tired. She wasn't tired. It wasn't tired. We weren't tired. You weren't tired. And they weren't tired. So for this negative contracted form, 
we have the apostrophe to represent the missing letter O. I wasn't tired. You weren't tired. Okay? Let's look at some exercises. Put the verb to be into the affirmative present simple form. Do not use the contracted form. So I want you to use the full form. Example. So this is the question. So the answer is my parents are kind. So this is the verb to be in the third person plural. They are kind. My parents are kind. Question one. Question one. And I'll give you three seconds. The answer is the dog is hungry. Question two. And the answer is, I am very thirsty. I am very thirsty. So this is the first person singular. And this was the, fir uh, this was the third person singular. Okay. Exercise two. Put the verb to be into the negative present simple form. And I want you to use the contracted form. Example. The answer is, they're not awake. Or, they aren't awake. Remember, we have two choices. Question one. The answer is, we're not wet. Or, we aren't wet. Question two. The answer is, she's not fat. Or, she isn't fat. Exercise three. Put the verb to be into the question form. Present tense. Example. The answer is, are they happy? Are they happy? Question one. The answer is, is Jane ill? Question two. The answer is, are you angry with me? Are you angry with me? Okay. Exercise four. Put the verb to be into the affirmative Past simple form. Past simple form. Example. The answer is the children were funny. The children were funny. So remember that children is an irregular plural noun. It's the plural of child. So be, since it is plural, this is the third person plural of the verb to be in the past simple form. They were funny. The children were funny. Question one. The answer is Jane was noisy. Jane was noisy. So this is the third person singular. 
She was noisy. Jane was noisy. And finally, question two. The answer is, we were worried. We were worried. Okay? So there we are. That's the end of the lesson. And here are some other videos which you might be interested in.